solar radiation hits Mars with energy flux of 590 watts per square meter, which is 43% lower than Earth's. Reduced solar irradiance significantly impacts the Martian atmosphere and surface through complex physical and chemical processes. Sunlight interacts with Martian air molecules, primarily carbon dioxide, triggering photochemical reactions that alter atmospheric composition. Martian atmosphere permits UV radiation to reach the surface at a rate 20 times higher than on Earth. This heightened exposure drives the breakdown of molecules like carbon dioxide and methane. of photolysis are directly proportional to the concentration and quantum yield for each molecule. The photodissociation rate constant for carbon dioxide at 193 nanometers wavelengths. This rate is significantly higher than on Earth due to Mars's weaker atmospheric attenuation of ultraviolet radiation. UV-induced photolysis influences atmospheric pressure and contributes to Mars's characteristic reddish hue due to iron oxide formation. The pathway involves multiple steps, ultimately leading to the proportion of ferric ions. These react with other molecules to form hematite, as evidenced by orbital mission data from Mars Express, which reveals up to 10% of Martian soil is composed of mineral oxides formed through this process. on Mars dominates many regions, while other oxide compositions vary across the planet influencing regional surface reflectance and color variations. This UV bombardment significantly impacts Martian geology. Sublimation of carbon dioxide ice in polar regions and in shadowed craters occurs at significant rate, gradually carving away the surface of millennia.
This erosion exposes layers of ancient rock formations, revealing evidence for past climate shifts and geological evolution. For example, the Gale Crater, explored by Curiosity Rover, showcases layered sedimentary rocks that indicate the past environment with liquid water. The exposed rocks contain minerals like perchlorates, detected by rovers like Curiosity which play a role in preserving Martian water and potential influence in future exploration strategies. In this image you can see how Martian rock reacted on ultraviolet radiation. While Mars's atmosphere offers some protection, to mitigate these risks, future human missions to Mars will require robust radiation shielding strategies. The success of future missions will depend on our ability to effectively understand and manage the risks posed by the solar radiation on Mars.